Back in 1998, Labour began the process of devolution to Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Since then, the only part of the United Kingdom not to have its own voice is England. Opinion polling now shows that we English are increasingly conscious of being English and that overwhelmingly we are looking for an all England solution to the unfairnesses of devolution. I say that means an English Parliament. Colchester was once the capital of the Roman province of Britain. This is Colchester's Roman wall and legend has it that this is the very spot on which a Civil War cannon known as Humpty Dumpty had its great fall. The government has now set up a modern Humpty Dumpty in the shape of its West Lothian Question Commission. The coalition intends that they'll propose a version of English votes for English laws. But this proposal is an unworkable damp squib and is heading for a fall. The fall of English votes for English laws will leave only two workable constitutional options, either an English Parliament and Government within a federal UK, or independence for England. If the British Unionist establishment doesn't soon respond to growing English resentment, then the window of opportunity for a federal United Kingdom will close, and the only option will be independence for England. If that happens, then the United Kingdom will be as dead as the die-hard royalist officers who were shot on this spot in 1648 by a firing squad of English parliamentarians. Colchester also has a claim to be the fabled Camelot of King Arthur and may have been where his original round table was. I say that England now needs a real round table around which to build a consensus on England's future just like the Scots did with their Scottish Constitutional Convention. The key to that convention was the Scottish Claim of Right, which acknowledged the sovereign will of the Scottish people. I agree with that principle, but we need to apply it to England. The people of England are the sovereign to any English Democrat. My name is Paul Nuttall. I'm the Deputy Leader of UKIP. When people think about UKIP, they often think about the European Union. But I'm here today to talk about a different kind of union, our own union. The union between England, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. It's a union which has brought us peace, prosperity and democracy for 300 years. It's a union which is also under attack. But as a unionist, I genuinely believe it's a union worth saving. Can I have some fish and chips please? Yes. Traditional English fish and chips. Oh. Whether we like it or not, the devolution genie is out of the bottle and it isn't going to be put back in. Indeed, the Scottish, Welsh and Northern Irish want more power for their parliaments and assemblies and we, the English, are being left behind. We have come to the conclusion that we need a federal UK and most of all, we need an English parliament. It's an unfair system because we're all taxpayers together but uh, they seem to be getting the benefit of it and uh, the Scottish MPs can vote on all of our uh, issues but we can't vote on theirs. They get free education, we don't. It's very wrong. Free prescriptions, they get it, we don't. It's wrong. I'm, I'm now an estate agent in, in London um, but I think the, the prices did turn me away from university a little bit. I thought the loan at the end of it, paying that back, drove me to get the job and I'm happy I made that decision. So. But you're actually saying that if you lived in Scotland or you were Scottish, yeah. you probably would have gone to university and because you're English you haven't. True, true. That's, that's, not, that, that's not right in, in our opinion. I have a young daughter at the University of Kent and the cost of that education is uh, very difficult to me. Uh, it's difficult for her, yeah. the debts that she's going to walk away with. Uh, and as a parent, having to pay for an education which I think is a right of the child, I think is unfair. Oh, it's terrible, absolute disgrace. We, you know, I think mean, we should, should pay at all. No kids should pay, but they, if we're all going to pay, Britain should pay, you know what I mean? Everyone in Britain should pay. Would you support, say, an English Parliament, for example? to rebalance the democratic deficit that we have. I'd support an English Parliament, definitely. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so definitely a fair system, yeah. Why would you support it? Uh, to give people in England a voice about what actually happens in, the, in England as opposed to actually having rules made for the entire Great Britain. Resentment is growing. We need a solution. And UKIP believes that that solution is fairness. And that means there has to be an English Parliament for the English people.